YouTube, hey, what's going on everybody? Back again with this new video and today I just wanna talk a little bit about um, some upgrades that I just recently did to the Nashiki, Colorado. Um, it's been close to, I think this month in October makes about a year since I had this bike. And in one of my last videos, um, at the Santos video, the actual pedal broke off the crank set. And um, that was because of uh, the bike not being set up properly when I initially bought it. And um, I never actually checked the pedals. Um, in the beginning, when I changed the pedals to the Chester pedals, I never realized that the original pedals that I took off um, had no grease at all on them. And so the times that I did ride it, uh, which was a lot, um, it was doing damage to the actual crank set arm and it, it stripped it and then that's why the pedal fell off and all of that. So made a long story short, got everything fixed, everything's good to go now and I got a few upgrades to it. So this is why I want to do a quick video on the new upgrades that I did to the Nishiki Colorado. And let me just say this about this bike. I originally called this bike the Beast. It really is a beast. The original tires, the Kenya tires that came on it would go over everything. But now that I've just upgraded it, man, I'm just excited to see what, what, what's gonna happen when I take this out for my first ride with the new tires and the upgrades that I just recently did. So, um, out of the bikes that I have, which I have two bikes, um, the GT Avalanche and the uh, Nashiki Colorado, this is definitely by far um, my favorite out of the two that I have. Um, and I actually have another Nashiki Colorado, if you remember, that's in North Carolina, my home state, that I ride when I go up there. That's how much I like that bike. I bought two of them. And I really can't explain the difference. It's just a different feel when I ride it. Uh, I definitely know that it's a little bit easier to ride and, and, and shift gears with the, um, the one by system that came on it. And it's just a really good bike, man. It's heavy as hell, yeah, I, I agree with that. But it's still, for what I need it for, it's, it's awesome. So let me show you the upgrades real quick. Um, this bike doesn't have a kickstand, so I'm just kind of winging it with the video camera. So what I did, man, this thing looks good with these new tires on it. I just upgraded the tires. So in the back, let's start with the tires first. I upgraded to the Minion DHR2s, Max's tires in the back. And then in the front, I have the Minion DHF. Um, and I bought this for a reason. Why, people may ask, well, why do you have mixed match tires? The actual set came like this. This is a popular um, set that a lot of people buy for their mountain bikes. Uh, shout out to uh, Worldwide, um, Worldwide Cycling. That's where I actually buy these from. And I'll put the website in the link down below where I buy a lot of my bike gear from. Shout out to them. Um, they're very helpful. They'll always answer my questions uh, when I email them. But this particular tire combo set is on purpose. So basically what you have here, the Minion DHR2 um, in the back uh, is basically better for uh, a rear tire. And that's why they sell this as a set. And then you have, again, the Minion DHF tire, which is better for the front. And so... Um, I do have the Minions already on the GT Avalanche, and so, um, and so yeah, it, it's, it's just an awesome tire. Look at the knobs on this thing, man. These, these things are huge. I know before this bike was a beast and it could go over everything, I can't even imagine what this thing is getting ready to do now. Um, and the size of these, just in case you guys are wondering, for those who have this bike, uh, 27 and a half by 2.8. So these are 2.8 tires. That I have and it's the exact same on the rear as well and so again I'll put the link on where to buy this as a set um, a lot of times worldwide cycling has uh, discount codes that you can use for 10 or 15 percent off and I think I got these with an additional 10 percent off can't remember how much I paid but I think it was close to around like 150 or so for the set might have been a little bit cheaper than that I'll have to check and see but I know it was close to something like that Next thing I had to do, if you remember, the pedal fell off, and what I found out about this bike is the crank set sucks. Um, when I did research on this bike, there were two things that a lot of people complained about. It was the crank set and it was the seat post. 
I haven't had any issues with the seat post as of yet, but the crank set, of course, did give me some problems and that's why I had to replace it. So if you notice, what came stock with the derailleur and the actual um, drivetrain on this bike was a SRAM NX system. I bought the NX crank set to go, to go with it, to match. I actually had to buy the NX uh, bottom bracket as well. Um, and I'll put the links and descriptions to those to go to match it as well. And then you have also the, um, I don't know if I can see if I can put it on there, the shifter, the SRAM NX, uh, um, what, what you call it? Can't even think of the name of it. Uh, the lever uh, in the front as well. So now I'm, I'm pretty much mashing all the way around the bike with the, with the, uh, the SRAM um, branding. And so let me just kind of show you what I actually bought. So for the actual crank set, it is the um, NX GXP 175 black 32 teeth. Okay, and then again, I'll put that in the actual um, description as well. This is the sticker from Worldwide Cycling. You'll see again the SRAM NX GXP 175 millimeter black crank crank set 32 teeth. Um, and then for the bottom bracket, you will see the, again from Worldwide Cycling, um, the SRAM Team GXP English bottom bracket. And that's the model number there for that. And again, I'll put all of this in the description, but you'll see it down below. Um, it just looks great. It's still a one by um, crank set and, and uh, drivetrain on there. At first, I was a little bit worried because when we, when, uh, we put it on at the shop, um, this particular, and I'm gonna kind of show you. What I'm doing. So one of the things that I was concerned about when putting the new uh, crank arm on here was the pedal coming very, very close, as you can see, to the um, actual frame. But it is enough room, it is close, what you're gonna to have to do if you get this bottom bracket is get both of those spacers. You're gonna to have to use both of those spacers on this bottom bracket. It comes with these two spacers. Actually, a third one would be best, but two still works. But just be aware that it's gonna be very close to the frame if you have this bike and you decide to go with this particular um, bottom bracket and uh, crank set. Other than that, man, that's about it. So this, I didn't wanna make this video too long or anything. Just wanted to show you the upgrades to it and I'm very excited about putting this back on the road and uh, I'm sorry not on the road but back on the trail and then um, yeah I'm just really interested in seeing what these tires are going to do as well so that's about it guys just wanted to show you a quick video of those upgrades and again I have all those items in the description um, just want to say thank you for everyone who's been subscribing and watching the videos up to 200 now um, 200 subscribers and didn't think it would take this long to get it to that that number but uh, it's a lot of work in this YouTube thing so I appreciate everybody for the support and for continuing to watch and um, next video I may post another one tomorrow if I can get a ride in tomorrow and uh, that will be of another new trail around the Orlando area that I wanted to uh, kind of give you guys a close look at so other than that hope everyone's well I'll catch you in the next video